Hi, I'm Ryan Kleckner. I'm a former special operations sniper and the best-selling author of the Long Range Shooting Handbook. And I'm going to talk to you about trigger control. Now, trigger control is a hard topic to get into because it changes for everybody. It's different on different rifles, and it's really different on the situations. I mean, you're going to have different trigger control when you're trying to zero your rifle or shoot pretty groups at 100 yards than you are when you're taking a shot at an animal that's only stepping out from behind a tree for a moment. Now, some principles remain the same. The idea is we don't want to jerk the trigger. We want to allow the gun to go off as naturally as possible. But I'm not sure I subscribe to the whole theory that it needs to be a complete surprise. I mean, I want to know when the gun's going off. I just don't want to control it too much. So let me demonstrate what it looks like on an empty rifle. And this is how you should be practicing too. You want to get better at trigger control? Dry fire the rifle more than you actually fire the rifle. When I get on the gun and the chamber's empty, I'm going to put the pad of my finger on the, tri on the trigger. I like the actual pad. For you, it might be different. If it works, who am I to change it? I'm going to put the pad of my finger on the trigger. I'm going to focus on the reticle. I'm going to start applying steady pressure until the gun goes off. Now, that steady pressure can take as long or short as that shot requires. If I'm shooting a pretty group of the target, again, it'll take longer. I like to visualize this in my head like drawing a line in the dirt, because I think most people can picture that. I'm going to keep adding pressure, keep adding pressure until the gun goes off, and then I'll still add a little bit of pressure after the gun goes off for some follow through. Now, the reason I like that theory is I can draw that line fast if I need to, or I can do it slow, but it's the same every time. Let me demonstrate. If I'm taking my time, I'm adding pressure, adding pressure, adding pressure, gun goes off, and I keep adding pressure. However, if I need to make the shot quicker, I can do the same thing by looking at the target and shooting. I'm still building the pressure consistently each time, and I'm following through a little bit after the end. So, next time you get on your gun, get the ammo out of it, figure out how you're pulling the trigger first, and only after you can pull the trigger without disturbing the gun and disturbing the sights off the target, then add the ammunition in. When you're shooting live rounds, all you're doing is disguising your bad trigger control because the recoil of the gun hides the jerk on the trigger that you did. Matter of fact, that's why if you ever accidentally catch yourself with the gun empty, that's when you notice that you jerked the trigger. There you go. Go dry practice. Let's see how it works for you.